We escaped the National Park without major incident. Smallest tacos I've ever seen in my life. We are going to a Golden Retriever Festival in Golden, Colorado. So. <laughs> I think this might be good. Oh. There's the payoff. What happens when you travel with dogs? Sure, it's going to be an adventure getting out of here. Near death experience a few times, but uh, in the end, we didn't make it. What is up, people of YouTube? Welcome back to another one. Appreciate you joining us for this episode. It's going to be a little bit different uh, than a lot of the episodes we've had on the channel. But it is January 31st, and it has been winter in Kansas. It's been cold and dreary and miserable. So, of course, we plan a van trip, and today it's like 60 degrees and sunny, but it is what it is. But uh, in this episode, we are actually going to be heading to Colorado for a long weekend in the van, just try and get away, see somewhere different, have some time. So, going to get the two dogs out, going to get them in the van. Cassie and I are going to hit, hit the road. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Just a bit of a spoiler alert for folks. Um, you are going to see some details of the van. We're further along than what the build series is, so if you'd rather not see that, this probably isn't the episode for you. But otherwise, just give you an idea of what it's like you know, spending the weekend in a van with two dogs on the road, places we stay, things we're going to do. We're heading over to uh, Estes Park and Rocky Mountain and then down to Golden, Colorado for a couple of days. So, yeah, looking forward to it. I appreciate you joining us. Here we go. Check you later. Well, if you can see me, we are outside of a spin pizza, beautiful Topeka, Kansas. It's a little bit hard to get food quickly, but it is gluten free for Cassie. But apparently spin is one of those places. We're gonna try it. Puppers are out for a minute before we hit the road. So anyway, almost pizza time. <laughs> Look at that dog. <laughs> How's the pizza? It's so good. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Matter of fact, the pizza. Again. It's so good. Spin gluten free is worth the try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right, night one, we ended up in everyone's favorite camping spot, Walmart. Actually, that's one of the things I enjoy most about the van is uh, we just drive till we're tired. There's probably a Walmart somewhere near if you're on the interstate, so that's where we're at. Pull off, go to sleep, so that's what we did. Next morning, 6.30 in the morning, got the dogs out, time to get some quick breakfast and hit the road. Time for a pit stop. You know, all the times we've come across here on 70 to Colorado, I think this is the first time ever that we're going to stop at the Colorado sign take the cheesy picture with the dog so made it to Colorado I think we've got four or five hours left to drive in but good spot to stop stretch your legs see the colorful Colorado old tin bands running here today look at these two <laughs> oh boy looks like mom's got their handkerchiefs on So one of the reasons for this trip this weekend is that we are going to a Golden Retriever Festival in Golden, Colorado. So, I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. That's where people pee, guys. There's a lot of it. And poop, apparently. Yeah, they should probably put an outhouse here. <laughs> Are you, no, no, no. 
<laughs> All right, guys, let's go in the van. No, stay out of the pee and poop. Didn't realize that was a thing. There you go. Colorado sign. Stop. Done. First ever. <laughs> First look at the mountain, the bike's peak. Look at all that snow. Boy, that thing sticks out today. Huh? Gosh, that's the best we've seen it. It's so while. strange, like sometimes you can't see it at all. Yeah. Even when it's clear. Today yeah, though, it's like it looks obvious. so close too. That's awesome. Can I see the mountain? Do you see the mountain? I do. I'm excited. We're not really going anywhere near there, but it's there. First place you can usually see a mountain coming across 70. There's like this random lighthouse place, old abandoned, strange lighthouse. Probably like a tourist trap back in the day. That seems to be when you come around the turn there, you can see Pikes Peak on a clear day like today. So Cassie has this at some literally back alley taco stand in this van, hanging out while she vacuums her pants. What do you think, Murph? We tend to have a tendency of finding the hardest places to get to to eat, especially when you're in a 21 foot Sprinter van. It's nine and a half feet tall. But sometimes it's hard to uh, find a gluten-free place and Cassie found a place she was excited about. So here we are, trying to figure out our way. We were in Boulder, by the way. You guys ready? Yeah, they're ready. Look at this guy, he ready. He ready, March. <laughs> he don't know what he's ready for, but he's ready. What's up, dog? What's up, man? <laughs> the not fun part about driving a diesel van. 384. Oh. Tell us about lunch. The chips come like this. Whole, whole sheet make, chips. Make your own chip which is kind of fun. Um, the tacos are gone, you missed Murphy, it. you're, panting, you're painting over the They're video. delicious, but tiny. Each one of those held one. They're very small. Smallest tacos I've ever seen in my life. But tasty. Small street tacos, because I know street tacos are small. Plenty of those, but those are the smallest street tacos I've ever seen. They did taste good, though, huh? Mm -hmm. I got a, what did I get? Pork, pork belly. Pork belly was a, had a sweet covering. That was pretty good. And then we, you got chicken. Mm-hmm. Barbacoa was okay. No, mm -hmm. not barbacoa. Chorizo. Well, chorizo. You got chorizo. Chorizo was okay. How about the corn? I like it. How about the guac? I like it. Add a little more lime. Perfect. This is one nice thing about having a van is we're just parked in a little, next to a little park in Boulder. I don't know why Cassie's standing, but probably been sitting got a all day. table. Been sitting all day. That's a good point. But we can just pull over, put up the windshield screen, turn on the fan, and have lunch in peace and quiet with these two idiots. Hey, Mark, you're not. So that's lunch done. We are headed to Estes Park. Try and get a campsite without a reservation. We'll see. It's Thursday. The lady claimed on the phone we should have no problem. But I've been But she also before. said we need a sh uh, snow shovel and it's like 60 degrees today. Well, it's going to snow tomorrow night. Like a foot. So. Um, it's probably not tonight, wrong. Though. No, nothing tonight. So we'll see how that goes. Boulder to Estes.
excited. My favorite area. The only problem, we used to go to Rocky Mountain a lot more. They don't allow dogs to really do much at all in Rocky Mountain, so we've kind of phased that out some. Because if you can't take your dogs on a hike, what's the sense? Right, Arch? Right, Murph? I look the other way. I don't see how it's Estes Park. We escaped the National Park without major incident. Can't film in the park, so don't have much to show you there, but we had a nice time in the campground. Really nice and quiet. Not many people there. Had a little run with another camper taking the spot we had already reserved and paid for, but um, saw some elk, drove around. It was really nice. But uh, today we left the park. We're in Estes and we're, we're at Thumb Open Space, and I think we're climbing up there. So there are pretty much nowhere you can take a dog inside National Park for a hike. So we're going for a quick hike. This one it shouldn't be too long, but it's like a bit of a challenge. So we'll see how it goes. Thumb Trail, I think it's called in Estes Park. Here we go. Okay, Pops, you ready? And private property. Stay on the trail, Archie. That means you are. Interesting start through a bunch of houses. Still a good view though. Oh, now we're looking the other way. We were looking that way before. <laughs> Look at that. Some sort of juncture. I, I'm not sure which way we're supposed to go here, but this looks like the developed trail. That might just be a pirated trail. So we're gonna go this way. Oh, hiking with dogs. This way. There you go. Out of borage. Nice and slow. I think this might be good. Whoa. There's the payoff. And it's snowing up there. Wow. Ta-da! That's pretty. What do you think of that? That's amazing. Come on, Mark. He is not. He's like, I, I, I smell squirrels. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. I think this is our, this is the end. Unless you're going up that. You going up that, babe? We are not. Murphy and I are not. Sweet. This is a, this is a nice place to have a yeah, let's do that. You have to allow at least a half hour of picture time. Okay, what did you think of the thumb trail? Uh, awesome. It was, I mean, strenuous for us because we're out of shape, but still only like a half hour. Yeah, though, thirty right? minutes to get up here. Gorgeous view. Nice places to sit. Have a little snack. Really, really pretty mountains to look at. Yeah, it is a good view. Love it. Not sure if you can see that. That's pretty far away for a GoPro, but... 
And this little trail like two miles out of town really. Yeah. Sweet little afternoon like walk kind of thing. Yeah, if you want to climb have have at her. Oh, yeah, a nice little walk it. for us. Head mm -hmm. back down and find some find some lunch. And that's just before we head out. Mm -hmm. Some dark from ruining everything. Back to the old tin van. Still here. Would recommend. Yeah, if you need a quick little hike, that was awesome. The some open space. Right outside of Estes, or kind of in Estes, I guess. Back of the gravel pack approved, right Arch? You got a stick. What are we doing right now? We're getting some lunch. We're sitting With outside in the winter. It's so warm outside. So these little, it's like hot out these here. little turds can join us and be little helliums. Nice view, though. Sit. Sit. Oh, lovely mountains. Time to say goodbye to Estes Park. Right to Kiosk. Pretty nice place, huh? It's nice when there's less tourists like us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. A lot less cans in the winter. It's kind of nice. I don't think I've seen a single Texas plate while we're here. Anyway, we are heading on to Golden, Colorado. Home to Coors Light. We will not be going to Coors Brewing. Nope. We are headed to a campground RV park in the city of Golden. We'll see how that goes. An hour and a half drive starting now. Road close Saturday from Golden's. <laughs>
enjoy this trail, this beautiful river, in the city of Golden. So, looking forward to it. Status update. Saturday at 2 o'clock. Everything is soaking wet. Tried to dry off a couple of golden retrievers that are out in the snow for a couple of hours. So, it is dumping snow out. About a half inch, an hour, I think it said. Probably not gonna move this van today. Two wheel drive. Box van, it's probably gonna stay put. Which means we're gonna have to find a way to get to Hall of Daily. One of the only and first gluten-free breweries there is in the world. So we're gonna do everything we can to get there today, but it'll be a, it's gonna be a struggle. probably seven or eight o'clock now Saturday night let me give you a, give you a little snapshot of what our day entailed so we did the downtown golden day festivities in golden and then came back to the van Archie got put in time out there for a while he was a little too crazy downtown so I brought him back went back over Cassie was on her way back it was snowing so bad it snowed I'm gonna say six inches today which is not a ton but when you're out in it and it's dumping half an inch an hour or so it's it's coming down pretty good so decided probably wasn't wise to get this two-wheel drive van out to go to Hollow Daily so we tried to do a Lyft or an Uber for an hour and in Lyft and Uber's defense the roads were pretty horrendous most hadn't been touched but we struggled finally got someone and it was in a two-wheel drive uh, electric or electric Kia which went better in the snow than I expected, but still nowhere near good enough to get us to Hollow Daily. So we spent 20 minutes trying to get up out of town. There's a hill kind of heading out of town. Near death experience a few times, but uh, in the end we didn't make it. He gave up and brought us back into town, dropped us off downtown. So we walked around, went into a few shops, got a few souvenirs. We found some coasters, like chain on the outside maple and cork board on the back or something and the top front one was a tandem i don't think that's a drop bar bike but that's pretty sweet so we bought some crap we didn't need obviously and then uh went and tried to have a drink but a lot of stuff was closed because all the snow made it over to woody's had a drink had some appetizers had some pizza claimed best gluten-free pizza in colorado I'm here to say that is not the case. Not the best gluten for pizza in Colorado. And then we had to walk back, which actually wasn't, I don't know, it was less than a mile along the river. But I think that was the fourth, one, two, three, four, fifth time I did it today. So got some steps in today, which was nice. It was actually, it was quite beautiful along that river. This might be, Salida has a pretty awesome riverfront, like Poncha Springs. There are a few places I think are pretty impressive, but golden which is like Denver. We're pretty much in Denver. Just a little town now that's swallowed up. Man, this Clear Creek Riverfront is impressive. It is nice. This is the first time I think that I can think of we stayed in an RV park, but it's cold. We knew it was gonna snow or rain or whatever. and it was gonna be a mess. So we would be out on mud roads. And we also um, wanted to have a shower and access to water and power after a couple of days of not having that stuff. So. Usually when we take uh, van trips, this is a short one, just a few days, but you know, when we're gone for eight, nine days, what we usually do is, you know, do two, three, four days or whatever out off grid uh, boondocking, you know, either not in a campground at all or in a campground that just has like a pit toilet that's like, you know, five or 10 bucks to stay in. And then, you know, maybe once or twice on that trip, we'll do a place that actually has a shower um, because until I get the shower done here, it's a bit of a pain um, to not have that. So we still rely on these kind of places uh, now and again, but um, usually stay away from RV parks. Number one, they can be kind of not the most enjoyable place to be, but number two, they're usually they're pretty expensive. Like you can spend $100 to stay at an RV park pretty easily. This one was in the 60s, 65 bucks or something. Pretty awesome shower house and bathroom. And the, the, the spot we stayed in had power in uh, water right there. So we were to fill up 
and charge up. And I actually I can be happy with this place. It's pretty awesome for an RV park right next to the river, right next to the river trail. So if you're staying in Golden, look it up. It's a pretty sweet place. I'll put the name in the show notes below. But yeah, we are, Cassie's out walking the dog one more time. The dogs, plural, we still have two. Even though one, I don't know, he's still in timeout. He's still in trouble a little bit, but Cassie's out walking both dogs now. And we'll probably call it a night. Problem when it's snowing and raining when you're in a van is the condensation. See all the windows clouding up and, you know, it's real cold outside, warm inside. We have the, we have a diesel heater in this, so it keeps it nice and warm. And it's a drier heat, but it's still not perfect. And so when we have stuff hanging, we've got stuff hanging all over the van drying. And so there's just a ton of moisture. And then, you know, we'll open up the fan and let it run a little bit while we run the diesel heater. But still, it's tough to dry this thing out. So it's a bit of a mess. Overall, the van is a mess after three nights or four nights um, this place is a bit of a pig pen but we're gonna pack up in the morning and hopefully hit the road and hopefully that's a smooth process I'm not real sure what the thing saw a lot of plows out this evening so hopefully they're getting stuff ready it's you know Sunday morning driving through Denver uh, probably not like their huge priority to get stuff cleared out but hopefully it will be we'll see the, the good news is the temperature has just been hovering around freezing the whole time it's not supposed to get that cold tonight, so hopefully it doesn't freeze too hard. Right now, the water and the snow on the roads, it's just like a slop. It's a mess. But uh, if it stays like that, I think we can get out of here okay and get on the long, flat road back to Kansas. Not a lot of elevation between here and where we live, so I guess that's good when you have a lot of weather um, that you're going to be driving through. I think everything tomorrow we'll be driving through is supposed to be rain, but probably check that weather forecast soon. So, yeah, having a great trip. Had fun. And, uh, just trying to give you a little bit of an idea of just what a van trip looks like for us. This was just a short one, you know, just us and the dogs, no bikes this time. Do a little bit of hiking, do a little bit of stuff in town, go to the Golden Retriever Festival, those kind of things. Enjoy a bunch of snow, so a little bit of winter van life for us. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, appreciate you tuning in. We don't worry about seeing.